Welcome back to 5 Minutes With on Buzz TV. I'm your host, Mike White, and on 5 Minutes With, we interview executives in our community that are doing amazing things and growing their companies. Join us today, we have Lyman Starmer with Peer Life. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. This is a really honor. I'd love to talk about what we're doing and, and where we are going, so I appreciate it. So Bob and I get together with entrepreneurs, people that are doing great things, and find out what makes them tick and more about their company. So tell us a little bit about Peer Life and uh, how you guys got started. Yeah, well, I started a company when I was 17 called Perspective, and it was a social network prioritizing bipartisanship. So uh, for ease of uh, communication, let's say you have a Republican and a Democrat, uh, Democrat, and you find consens- you find a consensus point. That would then be promoted. So it's something I like I see the, why it failed. There's no consensus yes, point. <laughs> there's never. And so just think of the antithesis of something like Twitter and Facebook. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I went out to the Villages, which is the largest active adult community uh, in the world, actually. And my grandmothers lived there, and I pitched her friends. It was about 40 of them. They loved it, but, you know, politics, like you said, it's very, it's very sore subject, especially at the villages. Um, and we saw a bigger need. And the need was these active adults, they're more active than me. And um, there's thousands of activities happening each day, thousands of groups, dragon boats, um, bocce ball, all of that stuff. And it was all managed by the resident themselves. And so they had to create their own website, which was $50 a month. And they had to get taught how to learn that website, and then they just gave up. So there's all this activity that's so fragmented, and there's no central place for this, especially for the management team of these um, active adult communities, too. And so they're using all these different platforms, and they don't necessarily have one place to see all this information. And so I took perspective and then pivoted uh, to what is now uh, Peer Life, and it's a social engagement tool for the managers and a social network platform for the residents. And so it's all in its own uh, self-sustaining ecosystem to where information is then fed to the managers to see, okay, what's the rhetoric inside of our community? What's happening? Uh, what's exciting our, 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 our individuals? Or what amenities are being used? Or the golf course is being used? So it allows everything to be in one place, super simple, uh, to where an active adult, someone 55 plus, can really understand, okay, this is what's happening in my community. Active adult, 55 plus. Now, I'm not 55 yet, and I'm very active. I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so the hardest part about starting the business was what? Ooh, so I don't know. There's a what is that? I think it's Peter Thiel wrote it. It's zero start or it's, uh, zero to one, and it's basically understanding that when you have nobody there, how do you market your first customer? That is still the biggest problem, and it's not necessarily we, we've got a lot of communities in the pipeline, but with such a large product like a platform that incorporates all these different departments. The sales cycle is, I, I would say, starts just starts at four months. Four months is that just the start sales cycle, and it could even go to half a year. But as soon as you get that contract, it's a very long-lasting contract. So um, it's kind of the hardest, but also the most fun part is really digging deep with the executive team on who you're trying to sell to. Um, but again, it's super hard too because you really have to understand. All right. Um, how do we approach this? Do they like the monetary value? Do they like the uh, how we engage with the residents? So you have to bounce back and forth. Interesting. So, yeah. yeah. So at the age of 17, I have to ask you, what, what drove you to start your first company and then onward to peer life? Yeah. So I was actually just sitting on my porch. Uh, I was working at Biscotti's and I was playing basketball. I was going to go play in college. Um, and my parents are very entrepreneurial. They started a center beam construction, a, a construction company here in Dax. And uh, I saw it ebb and flow. And uh, for me, I was, I was thinking, I had perspective, that idea. And I said, all right, I'm going to run with this. And I uh, really haven't looked back ever since, mm-hmm. in a way. So I absolutely adore it. I wouldn't trade it in for anything else. Um, it's kind of, you get kind of a high on it, just being busy, as we were talking about before. Yeah. You love that. Or the stress. That's, yeah. uh, it's a good thing. It keeps you fueled. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So let me ask, um, in this world of technology that we live in, and there's new things coming out all the time. What is, what's the unique thing about peer life? So all right, take Facebook and take Nextdoor or any of these networks. Okay. Uh, the primary admin are, let's say Mark Zuckerberg, he's the primary admin. So Facebook and Nextdoor, they collect all that data. 
but for an actual manager of a community, it doesn't make sense for them to create a third-party account and re-aggregate the people they spent years on aggregating. So if I you know, got you to move down to the villages, why should I then create another Facebook account to then get you to join that Facebook account? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. And so what we do is we give it to the heart of the users, to the management team, so they can collect the needed data to say, hey, this is what our residents are saying. We're seeing that a lot of them are liking cars and coffee, so let's make more cars and coffee events. Um, so it's really, it really hasn't been done before in the, the senior care space, the active adult space, or even, I like to say, peer life can be applied to anything you can draw a circle around. Because as soon as you draw a circle around something, you have to increase the engagement. Um, so that's what makes it different. There's just, there can be thousands of different peer lives, but each one's unique to the community's need. Okay. So what is, um, you've got angel investors came in and uh, you talked about having it locally. So you've had a lot of good people. How did you raise money locally? So I raised on a safe agreement, which is a simple agreement for future equity. It's kind of like a convertible note. And it's a quick way to get out and say, okay, hey, we're too young enough to have a valuation, um, but we still would like to raise based on a future valuation. And so um, I started getting myself out in the press. I actually made a deal with my principal. I, I told him, I was like, okay, if I can get Wolfson High School, if I can get us in the newspaper, I can only go to school one or two times a week. And he said, I've never done this before, but okay, we'll do it. <laughs> and so I was on calls all day at Wolfson and Episcopal, and um, it was just with investors. And so let's say the resident or JBJ, um, that's when um, investor people would call me and say, hey, I saw your article. I'm really interested in this. And then you would start those conversations or you'd talk to someone and say, hey, do you have five contacts? And those contacts would become 10. And and things you're like out that. there hustling. So as you've raised now, what is your exit strategy? So the exit strategy is, there's, there's multiple. So there's the health side of the exit strategy, or there's also um, the engagement side. So I uh, think of the health side as like a, a Walgreens or a, um, there's so many different, Hivebrite. Mm -hmm. And then you have the engagement side, which are like Tribe.so, Facebook, any of these related based corporate companies. They're really interested on this niche mm -hmm. uh, because Facebook, they're very, uh, they're, they're tailored towards active adults. But whenever you have a niche platform like this, these companies salivate for that, especially if you have a company that's founded on truth, uh, making sure that everything's secure. Companies love that. And so we're really trying to build that up and build up our credibility as a very trustworthy platform for this uh, space in the market. So my goal then in five years, I want to see you with Heritage Capital Group. So my friend Matt Colley at Heritage Capital, they basically take companies that are 50 million to $500 million and help get them acquired. So I want to see you yeah, in the I'll, paper. I'll be there. We're going to so, be following you. Uh, yeah. Thank you for coming on. Congratulations yeah. on your success. And thank I want to invite you back on to dig deeper into everything your platform Sounds does. Sounds good. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lyman. Yeah. To find out more about Peer Life and all the amazing things they could do for your active adult community, visit us at iwantabuzz.com. We'll see you next time on 5 Minutes With.